Okay. I was, okay, I was just talking for like a good five minutes to my computer screen. I have no camera on my computer. I do that. I talk to myself because I'm the only one that truly listens to myself. And it helps me get through the day. But I just watched the cutest video of this little girl who, it was kind of showing like her life, like before and after she was diagnosed with autism. And what, the one thing that bothered me was right when I saw that her daughter was vaccinated, I was like, oh great, now here comes the blame game. It's all the vaccine's fault. Nothing else. No one else's fault. It's just the vaccine's fault. We don't have environmental reasons. We don't have things in our food. We don't have things in the, things, just, just, things. You don't know, maybe the moons and Venus lined up in the right way for your kid. That's the stupidest reason ever. But for your kid to have autism. But I hate when people nowadays are blaming vaccines. Vaccines, I looked up the guy, the guy who discovered vaccines. I don't, I'll say discovered, I don't know the right word for it. Invented, I don't know. Vaccines. First one was smallpox vaccine tested on chickens, 1796. So can you entirely blame vaccines for our recent spike in ailments? I say ailments because it's not just like mental ailments. It's also like asthma, allergies, skin disorders. I don't know what you call them. They're not diseases. Skin conditions. <laughs> Stuff like that. And it's like... Can you truly blame the vaccine for causing that? Because your kid could have just been predisposed to it and the vaccine just set it off. Like my allergies. I have severe allergies. As a child, they were only during the two and a half or three months of spring. Now they're season round. Used to be they were only set off by pollen. My eczema was only set off by grass, right? Now my eczema has cleared up almost Perfectly. As long as I just use Dove bath soap, I'm fine. I don't even have to really lotion anymore to keep my eczema from flaring up. Eczema's pretty much almost grown out of it. Allergies, on the other hand, have gotten worse throughout my whole childhood. And you know why? Look at this. One, you wanna know why? Not because I was vaccinated, but because my dad had allergies. Ooh, genetics. Not, I, I seriously, like, I feel like people like you and here's the thing I don't know maybe the vaccine is the only reason these kids have autism nine times out of ten let me phrase that 9.9 .9 times out of ten most likely it's not most likely it's if you look which is really expensive so most people can't if you actually look at the DNA it's probably there it's probably just there like a lot of genetic disorders, I don't know, is autism a genetic disorder? I don't think it is. But a lot of genetic disorders are on the X chromosome, which means it's more likely for a boy to get it than a chick. And I don't know the stats on how many boys compared to girls have autism. Yeah. But back to the trigger thing. Allergies. I literally, all week last week, Felt completely fine. Sneezed three times all week last week. Woke up Sunday, felt fine. Sneezed once, I was like, okay. Sneezed again, got a little stuffy. Started sniffing, felt horrible the whole freaking day. My nose was running to the point that if I bent over, it would drip on the floor. It was disgusting. I went through a whole tissue box. Felt terrible. My head was heavy. I felt hot. And... That's, that's one of my regular allergy attacks. My allergy attacks went from just being seasonal with pollen, dust, dander, to being pollen, dust, dander, ragweed. Right? And my, my symptoms also changed. To now my allergies are year round because it's affected, my sinuses are affected by air pressure outside now. Temperature, drastic temperature change. My body can't handle drastic temperature change. For some reason and it's only outside it doesn't make sense I don't know dust dander mold pollen pet hair it's freaking ridiculous and it used to be I just get itchy eyes and a runny nose I don't get itchy eyes as much which I'm thankful to heaven for but I'll get a runny nose I'll get my nostrils literally like this spring or last spring technically 
swelled up so bad one night that I could not breathe out of my nose. It was like literally no airflow at all. It just, they swelled shut. <clears throat> what else? Oh my gosh. I get a scratchy throat, sore throat, severe drainage. I puked last spring because of the severe veins. veins. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I, I'm speech portion. My brain shut down for a minute. It, I, it's, it's a trigger. I will feel fine forever until something triggers it to set it off. And I feel like a lot of people don't know, but they could be, like a lot of people who already have like certain viruses and diseases in them just sitting there doing nothing. And once you get that trigger, it blows up. It goes crazy. does whatever it wants. starts running rampant. Blah, 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 blah. And I seriously feel like that's what's happening with people who are coming down with like autism. I don't know if vaccines have been linked to anything else. But I know they haven't been direct, directly linked to anything. For real. Ugh, my hand's shaking. Stop shaking. But like, I know they've, they've linked autism to a lot of stuff. That's just in the stuff you eat. In the air you breathe. Like, it's been proven that fire retardant chemicals are linked to autism. Mercury in food is linked to like, like fire retardant chemicals, it's B something, I can't remember the other two letters, is in Gatorade, Powerade, Mountain Dew. It's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's little things like that and I'm like, y'all can't blame something that's been around longer than you. <laughs> and the, some vaccines are fairly new, like chickenpox vaccine is the same age as me. It's only 18. It's not that old. And you know what? No one's died from it. But millions of people have died from chicken pox over the years of chicken pox. Not just in 18 years, but over the whole spectrum of chicken pox. It's, it's, it's stupid. And the roseola thing. The, their kids catching roseola after getting the MMR vaccine, I think it is. Roseola is a childhood illness that a kid I know from my church who does who isn't vaccinated her mom his mom does not believe in vaccines caught roseola and hand foot and mouth disease like the week before certain things are just childhood diseases how do you spell ro rosy rosy roseola 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 is also called sixth disease I think I can't remember it's a viral infection that commonly affects infants and young children. It's a common illness for little, little kids. Highly doubt your vaccine is the reason. Now, vaccines do weaken the immune system because it's a virus being injected into the body with whatever else is in that syringe. I don't know, they start putting stuff and stuff for some reason as time progresses, even though there's nothing wrong with the original. I don't know. But, it weakens your immune system, obviously, because it's a virus. So your immune system has to stop fixing other stuff to get rid of that. But it's used so next time you come in contact with that, your body can fight it. Or you'll be somewhat immune to it. Do I think I'm immune to chicken pox? No. I don't know. Especially since I had to get the vaccine twice. Did my right ear just cut off? Okay, I don't know. It's got the sound that got really weird for a minute. Maybe some air came out of my head. I don't know. Let's hope not. I don't think there's air in the... Is there air in the head? I don't know. I can't focus. <laughs> the hardest time focusing on one subject. Little things distract me like this gnat that keeps doing circles around me for some reason. Uh, causes. Go. Consult a doctor. Blah blah. Blah blah blah. Causes for roleola common in children age is three months to four years. Okay. And most common in those ages is six months to a year. The little girl was like a year old when she got that vaccine. She's the same age range for roseola. So it's like, little baby, weakened immune system, you get baby viruses. There you go. It's caused by a virus called human... Herpes virus, HHV6. 
Yes, it's really creepy when you learn a lot of these viruses are herpes viruses. It's really weird. Like, like cold sores. Herpes simplex 1. Every, like, 90-something percent of America has herpes simplex 1. I don't have it. Yay! <laughs> Why am I dancing? Why am I dancing on camera? Okay. Uh, high fever that goes to as high as 105. The daughter in that video had 104 point something. Lasts up to a week. It went away within a week. You never know. The vaccine probably didn't set off her autism. Rosiola probably would set it off. Because it's a very drastic vaccine. 105? That's high for a baby. Seeing that the human body dies at 108? That's high for anybody alive. Uh, uh. So, I don't know. And it's like, and they're like, think, like, educate yourself before you vaccinate. And I'm like, okay, what if I got all of them? My sister got all of them. My mom got all of them. Her brothers and sisters got all of them. My dad got all of them. His brothers and sisters got all of them. All my cousins got all of them. Why would I be afraid? Of giving my kid vaccines if literally everyone in my family got all of them not every, like excluding grandparents everybody in the family got all of them and are perfectly fine <laughs> and of course my family is not the healthy happy family that you should go off of we're happy but we're not healthy one we don't eat right two we don't exercise and three we just have net pilot ailments that are passed down throughout the family <laughs> Through generations of family, and it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Why are my eyes watering? They need to stop. It's starting to get on my nerves. Ugh. Bad eyelids. You're not doing your job. I don't know. I don't highly doubt your job has anything to do with watery eyes, but you're not doing your job because I want to not have. Yeah. I'm making a video. How long is this? Oh, 12 minutes. I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna, I feel like I wasted like a good five minutes. I'm gonna stop now.